right, y'all, it's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And this is your Sean Strickland versus Agus uh, Magomedov breakdown. Uh, I love this fight. I, re I really do. I, it's such a weird kind of uh, out of nowhere kind of fight. Um, Magomedov gets one KO victory against a subpar opponent, in my humble opinion. And he, you know, against Dustin Stoltzfus, I forgot the guy's name. And he gets Sean Strickland, who is highly ranked in the middleweight division. If I've ever seen Dagestani privilege, here it is. We complain, we complain about other fighters, but let's be fair um, when it happens on the other side. But hey, it is what it is. He, I, I assume the company thinks he's a great fighter or a good fighter. So they gave him this opportunity. We saw, well, I'll talk about the Umar thing later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about that later, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> what can I say? Um, but besides that, obviously, I, I like the fight. We give a guy an opportunity, um, you know, a shot, some new blood in the division. And that's probably what this division kind of needs, you know, to be honest. So this kind of movement in the division, I don't hate it necessarily, but... I don't think it's just because I don't see other guys getting opportunities like this, you know. Um, I've never seen Brendan Allen get, get a shot at Marvin Vittori or Jared Cannonier. Just saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you gotta you gotta work your way up for certain guys. But hey, if you if you climb up mountains, <laughs> you get you get what you want. But hey, let's let's forget about all that and let's just talk about the skill set. Uh, obviously, I, I was. Uh, he's shown that, you know, he has knockout power. He's a good striker. Uh, obviously, he has a, a wrestling background. And he's a good, he's a decent MMA fighter. But we've seen guys KO him. We've seen guys outlast him. He has a good record, 25 and 4 and 1. Uh, he's fighting out of Germany. Age 32, a height of 6'2", and reaches 78. So he's the longer, taller guy. Uh, obviously, the same age as Strickland. So, so yeah. Um, so no shame there. Um and, you know, in his last fight, I mean, he looked pretty good, you know, the front kick and then, you know, to to kind of like just rush Dustin like that and get the KO was good for him. But Sean Strickland is not Lewis Taylor. <laughs> All right. As much as I might not like Sean Strickland as a Brendan Allen fan, you know what I'm saying? We're we going to get that one back. Baby, we're going to get that one back. But as much as I might not necessarily like him, I know that his resume speaks for itself. The, look at the guys he's fought, besides just just losing and winning, if we just disregard all that. Look at the guys he's fought. Um, <laughs> Nasruddin Amayev, Jared Kenner, and I thought he won that fight, by the way. Uh, Alex Pereira, Jack Hermanson, um, Uriah Hall, Jocko, Brendan Allen. Uh, Jack Marshman. Okay, whatever. <laughs> let's, 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 okay, I didn't mean to bring you over. Don't just bring the Marshman. You could probably whoop my ass. Um, but besides that, doesn't matter. I mean, I, you know, I'm not even say that. I'm not even say that. I, I was, <laughs> maybe I got a chance. But hey, besides that, I'm not going to say that. Um, fought Zaleski Dos Santos, Court McGee, Kumar Usman, uh, Tom Breeze when he had a lot of hype, uh, Santiago Ponzinibbio. It speaks for itself. Those are the kind of guys he's he's fought, and he's beaten a lot of them. He's only lost five times. He has a pretty good record, honestly. Solid competitor, um, decent style, and he comes with a lot of experience. You know, uh, obviously they both kind of compare in experience. I won't say that, but he comes with a lot of UFC experience. He comes with a lot of five round experience, and he also comes with a lot of um, high level experience. You know, like guys he's fought. Um, He's fighting out of California, age 32, out of 61, reach 76. So he is, he is down by some, um, metrics of the game in terms of, you know, stats. But besides that, um, the guy's solid. He's a solid competitor. And, um, in this division, he has a solid chance, honestly, you know, um, in this fight. I think the first round is going to be very dangerous, um, for, Strickland, but if he can get out of that, I think he can probably win this fight. And in his Nasser Dinamaya fight, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like he made Nasser Dean garbage. <laughs> like, it's weird. Like, Nasser Dean's the better striker out of the two. If you actually look at how they strike, he's the better striker. He's the better boxing. I mean, let's not even just talk about the spectrum of striking. He's the better boxing. Uh, he has the more better technical wrestling. But for some reason, Strickland was able to out wrestle him. And outstrike him for five straight rounds. How was he able to do that? Now Strickland comes with a good Philly shell, 
kind of guard, whatever you want to call it, uses the shoulder roll. But what Strickland's really good at is punching you in combinations, right? You'll throw one, two, and he's throwing three more punches after that. Uh, if you go watch and he's bobbing and weaving and he's throwing weird unorthodox strikes and he's very awkward. You don't see a guy go like this. You know what I'm saying? You just don't see it in MMA. So it's weird. Um, and then he'll, he'll clinch up and he'll make it dirty and he'll just make things very tough and grimy. And if you can't fight grimy fights, then you can't beat Sean Strickland. You have to be a grimy motherfucker. Right, you have to get to that dark place where you can grind him out and then beat him, and that's how you can take him out. Or you have to be a sensational power striker and smoke the guy because Sean's gonna go forward. He's gonna take some punches, and if you can't hurt him, he's gonna keep going. And if you can't get past that shoulder, he's gonna keep going. And if he touches you and you're getting tired, and Sean can be tired sometimes. I've seen it. He can get tired, but he can still throw punches, and he just. It's such a weird thing, but he breaks guys' wills. He kind of, he freezes guys. And it's, it's such, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. He's, uh, and these guys are, I, they're better strikers than him. It's not like he's a wrestler, you know what I'm saying? It's not like he's just primarily wrestling or he's just a great technical boxer. I wouldn't even say that, but for some odd reason, these guys just can't compete with him. You know, Uriah Hall, I was convinced Uriah Hall was the better striker. Out of the two, I'm just convinced. Now, Uriah obviously does like to quit. So, that's one thing about Uriah. But besides that, um, Uriah is the better striker. Um, Imam is the better striker. You could even say Magomedov is actually the better striker out of the two technically. But uh, Sean Strickland has this weird innate ability uh, to make guys trash he could just do it and it, the fights don't end up being the best even against jared cannonier we just i saw what jared cannonier just recently did to marvin vittori i've never ever thought jared cannonier can give that kind of output in my life and he looked amazing he did not do that to, against sean strickland there's a complete difference between those both those fights. even if you thought cannonier won the fight whatever fuck it fucking strickland made that fight boring and made that fight Almost, it, it downgraded Jer Jared Cannonier's stock. You know, he, 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 I wouldn't say he froze Cannonier, but he, he almost like, he stopped Cannonier from doing what he did to Marvin to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he stopped that. So, you, you have to put that into perspective. But, um, hey, it is what it is. Um, I, I just think, stylistically, in this match against Magomedov and Strickland, I think Strickland's tough enough to get past the, uh, the first round. I think he knows, you know, after the Alex Barrow loss, all right, A, I can't just take a punishment all the time. I'm going to have to wrestle a little bit. And, hey, if he goes out there and takes uh, Magomedov down, or at least clinches him, he can stop He can stuff or stop a lot of the striking um, or dangerous striking um, situations that he can get into. And if he can get this into the later rounds, he can probably work this guy. I, I, I probably see a close fight. I think 49, 46. I maybe the first round could go to Magomedov. But besides that, uh, I think I see Strickland winning this fight. Um, it, it, you just gotta just based on respect to the resume. Strickland's probably one of the more well accomplished guys at middleweight. It hurts me saying that. That's probably how trash middleweight is. But he is. He is that guy. And just in, in retrospective of the division, um, you have to give Strickland his props in that in that respective. Um, thing. <laughs> this is, I was thinking of a word to say, but, uh, but besides that, in my humble, humble opinion, take a shot if eBay says humble opinion, uh, by the great Ed. But, <laughs> but like I'm saying, um, in my humble opinion, that's two shots right there. I think Strickland wins this fight uh, by decision primarily. Do I think, um, Magomedov could get the KO? Yeah, it's possible. I, I do. I think any man has a shot of K on another man in that octagon. I think it, any man has a chance, but I think Strickland wins this fight. So that's my breakdown. That's how I see it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, comment, share the video. But before I end this video, I do have a special announcement. I am bringing back eBay hoops. If you're a hoop fan, um, if you like basketball, obviously we did not cover any of the playoffs. I did watch the playoffs, so my bad on that. Um, just a lot of, you know, turmoil between me and my squad, but, um, but now we fixed everything and I think we're gonna, I think next year is going to be a really good year for us, honestly, and for that channel and, uh, I'm more motivated, um, to really put into the YouTube thing. And, uh, I've just, 
I've kind of fallen in love with this shit, you know? Again, I've really fallen in love with this. So, um, obviously it is what it is, but yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the, this video, but yeah, go check out eBay hoops podcast coming out, uh, tomorrow. The link of the channel will be in the description and we're bringing it back, baby. So besides that, it is what it is. Um, go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay five prediction nation growing. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Love y'all and goodbye. You can watch anime, you can put some fucking testosterone on my ass. I'll do it with you, let's fucking go. <laughs>